is the MI box. Uh, this is an Android TV. It's created by the same people who have like MI UI, uh, the operating system, and their MI uh, phones. And um, well, this is a very interesting device uh, that we're going to unbox today. Um, this was actually sent to me for free uh, by someone. Uh, well, who he was wanting me to implement uh, my app that I'm developing to work on an Android TV. And I mentioned that I would have to get an Android TV sometime, and he said that he would actually send me one for free. And so he sent this thing, and this has not even been opened. And so, you know, I'm very thankful to uh, receive this thing for free. This is a very interesting uh, device. It's got a 4K, Google Cast, Voice Search, all the standard stuff, all the standard TV type apps that would work on this thing. It says it has $76 of offers. Um, so. Uh, coming with uh, very app various apps, um, this thing is well up to uh, to 4K 60 frames per second. It's a it has a quad core, a Cortex A53, two gigahertz. It has a Mali Mali 450, 750 megahertz. It's got two gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of onboard storage. This thing originally launched at I believe 69 US dollars. And um, for whatever reason, it seems like it's hard to get it at that uh, price right now. And so it looks like you're going to be able to get this more around 70 to 80 or even up to $100. So let's get started. All right, just slides right open. We've got the MI box right on the top. Very nice looking. Uh, device. It's almost just about as big as a cup holder. Well, it looks like in the front we have the receiver. We have the logo on the top. And here we have a power port, a USB, an HDMI, and an audio jack. Um, so yeah, this thing doesn't have a micro SD card slot, but it does have a USB slot, so you can put a whole uh, USB storage device in there to expand your storage or for whatever you want, like a mouse or something. All right, we're gonna take off the top cover here. All right, so we have the instruction manual, probably warranty stuff, and uh, here it looks like special offers. So here's just a bunch of codes and things like that. I probably won't even use these, so here are the codes. Whoever gets to it first, maybe I will. Then when we're getting to the bottom, we have the uh, power adapter. This is the US power adapter. And it comes with an HDMI cable. So that's nice. Just a standard HDMI cable. Uh, not very long, probably two feet and a half maybe. We've got the remote itself. Let's see if there's any batteries in here. Okay, so it you're going to need to put these batteries in there. So it's not a rechargeable um, remote, but it does come with, with uh, some AAA batteries here. So the remote, it's a pretty uh, nice design. It's easy to, it's easy to hold. Um, it's got a middle button, up, down, left, and right, power button, a voice button, some center button, back button, and volume up and down. We're gonna check this thing out. All right, and we're booting up. Uh, this thing is running Android 6.0. It's not the latest, but um, it's pretty high up there. The latest is Android 8. And so the setup screen, it kind of reminds me of the Windows setup screen for installing Windows. Um, the keyboard is actually uh, pretty easy to use. I was kind of surprised. You can actually type pretty fast once you get used to it. Uh, the controller is really easy to use. It's everything's really simple on these Android TVs. And so I got through the setup and uh, looked through the UI some. There's a system update. I updated the system. And uh, well, let's look through the settings. I want to show you that this is running Android 6.0.1, and that you can play this uh, nice little game on it. That's the main feature of this whole Android TV. Okay, and the first, one of the first things I wanted to do is enable developer options. In order to do this, go to the About screen, uh, triple tap on the Build 
number using the center button and after you've triple tapped uh, you'll enable developer options. I already had it enabled but what I wanted to do is enable USB debugging. This will allow me to install apps and just do anything I want through the shell on the device and I'll get to that later. Now I just want to go to YouTube and uh, check out some 4K, 4K video, HD video. Uh, just to see how it runs on here and so I chose the first result and um, it actually looks pretty good you can't really tell by the screen but if it's a good screen you can see like every detailed pixel and just to show you you can use the, the voice search um, for basically any app and here I'm just using the, the Google app to ask a question and it's very simple now moving on to the USB debugging thing I just want to show uh, if you get mail to mail USB connect it to the laptop and the device uh, you can see with LSUSB that the device is connected it's showing up as a Google Nexus one and when you do ADB devices you can um, enable USB debugging on the device it will prompt that and now when I do ADB devices that now the device shows up and just to show you it works you can do ADB shell LS and it shows all the files on the root and you can also see the files from the UI of your operating system now I just want to show you this is one app I'm working on um, so it works through the IDE you install the app and this is the app uh, it's it's um, interesting app I'll leave it in the description if you want and um, when you install the app you won't see it on the default launcher UI so you'll have to go to like to the app settings and open it or download something like TV launcher where you can um, install that and then just open set up the apps you want now the problem with this you can't set the launcher as an actual launcher so when you press the home button it doesn't go to that it's just another app uh, so sling why am I opening this so there's not really anything else to say about the UI um, it's a pretty simple system um, it's really intuitive it's easy to work with and uh, you'll figure it out within like about 10 minutes I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe. Have a great day.